wear one of those fragrances that hit them right in the nose and say, hey, 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 where are you going? <laughs> wear them fragrances that make them say, look at me, boy, don't you smoke crack? <laughs> Stop them right in their tracks. Stop, look. YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel, so if you like looking good and smelling great, hit subscribe, man. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well so when I upload a new video, you don't miss out. Hopefully, YouTube will notify you that I've uploaded some content so you can go and check it out. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about some fragrances, guys, that really garner a lot of attention. These fragrances, at least in my experience, have been known to stop people right in their tracks, make them pay attention, and inquire and ask that question, sir, what is it that you are wearing? So if you love fragrances that have been known, at least in my experience, to catch attention, or you're looking for a fragrance to maybe catch someone's attention, there may be something on this list for you as well. Now, of course, as it is in life in general, nothing is guaranteed. And because these fragrances work for me as it relates to garnering attention, that doesn't mean necessarily they'll work for you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they won't either. <laughs> so you may have to just give it a shot and try some of these fragrances out. But if you want to see what I have on the list, you guys know how we rock. You know how we get down. Keep it locked right here. We'll be right back. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. Now, this first fragrance up that I want to talk about, this is really for more of the growing and sexy. You can't really be a little boy and rock this fragrance right here. I mean, you can, but it might not really just feel and, and feel right on you and smell right on you. I think this is for those distinguished gentlemen out there. And this fragrance comes from the brand of Chanel, their exclusive collection. This is called Sycamore. This is called Sycamore, man. This is a very green, woody, spicy fragrance. You get some vetiver, some cypress, some sandalwood, a little spiciness in there from pink pepper. This kind of puts me in the mindset of fragrances like uh, French Lover from Frederick Mall or Spice and Wood from Creed. These three fragrances really have a very similar DNA. So you get that very woody, masculine manliness in this fragrance. Where this one differs from those, where those have more like these uh, nice fruit accords uh, on the top, this one goes more in a green direction. That's why you get that cypress in there uh, and things like that to really make this more of a green fragrance. But it's woody, it's masculine, it's spicy. And I'm telling you guys, this one right here, when you are dressed to impress, at least level one, level two dress, this thing right here just really takes that whole aura to the next level. It's that kind of fragrance. It's masculine, manly, and sexy. Get your nose on this one, man. From the brand of Chanel, this one is called Sycamore. All right, now the next fragrance up on the list is a fragrance that you do not hear much about, but I will continue to tell you guys just because you don't hear a lot of people talk about it does not mean that it's not a great fragrance. And that is definitely the case with this next fragrance that I wanna talk about. From the brand of Amois, this is called Imitation Man. Imitation, man. Look at that beautiful psychedelic bottle, man. I absolutely love this stuff. You get some black pepper, some rose, uh, violet. You get some orris, castorium. This is such a unique fragrance, man. It's really about that. It's really like this animalic, powdery, rosy, leathery fragrance. That's really what this is. Uh, and it's very unique and it really garners attention. The reason why I think fragrances, this fragrance and a lot of fragrances I wanna talk about today, stop people in their track, so to speak, or garner a lot of attention is because most of these are really, really strong performers. So I think that's kind of an underlying component uh, to the fragrances that I'm gonna talk about today. For the most part, they perform really, really well on my skin. So obviously when you are in the presence of someone and you don't really have to get an arm's length for them to pick up your scent, that really 
you know, contributes to people uh, noticing the fragrance, obviously, and then consequently commenting or inquiring as it relates to uh, what you're wearing or saying that you may uh, smell good. So uh, those are things that I really noticed about these fragrances because this thing really projects like a monster off my skin. Again, this powdery, rosy, leathery thing. So you get a double dose of that leathery nuance because there's leather and castorium here, which is kind of gives off an animalic, leathery kind of nuance. Really love this stuff. Very unique. Definitely stops people in their tracks when I've worn this from the brand of Unwise. This is imitation, man. All right, guys, this next fragrance actually comes from the brand of Royal Crown. Now, that's not a brand that I've talked about a lot on this channel, but the, the fragrances that I've smelled from this brand are really, really, really dynamite. And this one is no different. This one is called Tabac Royale. Tabac Royale, another really grown man kind of sexy fragrance. Obviously, tobacco is in here, cinnamon, tonka bean, as well as patchouli. Now, there's patchouli in here. There's uh, tobacco and there's tobacco leaf in here as well. So you get like this triple dose of tobacco uh, in this fragrance. This is really, really sexy. There has to be like this, there's a very musky uh, nuance to this fragrance. Not something that I think everybody's going to like. Again, I reserve this one as well, in my humble opinion for a very kind of grown and sexy uh, individual. Definitely a date night type situation, but it really, uh, when I've worn it, has been something that have people have really wanted to know uh, what I've been wearing and gotten some really great feedback on it. It's really sexy. I love tobacco. I love cinnamon and I get a lot of both of those in this fragrance. So check it out. It is from the brand of Royal Crown. This is called Tobacco Royale. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on this list comes from the brand of Bodicea Victorious, a brand that I've been loving lately. This is Namir. I can't say enough good things about this fragrance, man. You get some lemon, some rose in here. You get this sipper oil in here as well, which is really earthy, some muskiness in here as well. Really masculine fragrance as well. This stuff is just, this kind of reminds me a little bit, it's like a little brother to me, to green sapphire in a way. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, man. I love the way this stuff performs on my skin. I love the way it develops on my skin. Just something you gotta get your nose on. Be getting a lot of great feedback, seriously wearing this fragrance, as well as Green Sapphire. But very unique, very masculine as well, I would say in my humble opinion. I think it's something you guys need to check out. If you're looking for something that's attention grabbing and unique, look no further than this right here from Bodicea Victorious. This is called Nimir. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on this list, man, this, oh my God. You talk about attention grabbing, compliment getting, from the brand of Bond number nine, this is called Sutton Place. This is Sutton Place, man. Look at that beautiful brown bottle with the gold uh, inscription on it. You're gonna get some pineapple on this. You get musk, vanilla, amber. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> this is definitely one of those kind of playfully sweet, but at the same time, uh, I would say sexy and seductive fragrances. Definitely one that grabs people's attention. Like I said, this one really performs well on my skin, as do a lot of fragrances from Bond Number no. 9, which is one of the primary reasons why, you know, it's a fragrance brand that I've really uh, grown to really love and appreciate, and I've gotten so many fragrances from Bond Number no. 9 because they really do, uh, in general, typically do well on my skin, and this is no different. That pineapple and then that sweet kind of uh, vanilla, musky, ambery dry down, this thing is just something, again, that's very creative, very unique, and something I think you guys would really, really love. If you're looking for something that really performs well and garners attention, this is one right here I think you need to try from the brand of Bond Number no. 9. This is called Sutton Place. All right, this next fragrance is one that comes from the brand of Initial Parfums, Atomic Rose. Atomic Rose, anybody that's been following my channel for any amount of time knows that I love rose fragrance. You get a double dose of it in this fragrance. You get Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose. Uh, you get some Hedion in here as well and you get a nice sweet vanilla on the dry down. There's this creaminess about this fragrance as well. Uh, but again, it's one that I really, really, really enjoy. I have so many rose fragrances in my collection, but you know, I still found, I got this one a little bit later on 
uh, in my journey, but one that I still really loved and gravitated uh, towards because it has that initial pop farms DNA to it. And I think that's because of that heating on in here. And like I said, this is a compliment machine on my skin. So check it out, guys. Of course, from the brand of Initial Parfums, you're looking for something. It stops them in their tracks, or at least it's worked for me. This is called Atomic Rose. All right, guys, now this next fragrance is one that comes from the brand of Creed, and this one is called Royal Oud. This is Royal Oud, another fragrance, in my opinion, that you gotta be grown and sexy to wear. Uh, this one has only some pink pepper, cedarwood, angelica, galbanum. Of course, there's a little bit of oud in here as well, but as I've said, a lot of people have said, this is more about that cedar wood. I would say the cedar wood angelica combination. All right. So it really still lends to that dark woodiness that you get from oud, uh, but it's really more prominent. The cedar wood in the angelica is more prominent because the angelica is really earthy and, and uh, grounded and rooty, um, as I would describe it. And that combines well with the cedar wood and the little you know, dosage of oud that I actually pick up in this fragrance. But again, that spiciness in the opening and freshness from that pink uh, pepper really, really works well in this fragrance. And again, guys, I'm telling you, you wear a suit with royal oud, do it and see what I am talking about. I remember one day I wore this. This almost got my record uh, from Portrait of a Lady for the number of compliments in one single day. Compliments left and right when I wore this fragrance. And of course, I was dressed up in a suit and tie, but guys, if you're grown and sexy out there and you're looking for something that stops them in their tracks, give this one a try. From the brand of Creed, this is Royal Oud. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list actually comes from the brand of Mind Games. Oh my gosh, do we have to do this, man? Jadoob. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> this is. This is so, oh man, my goodness. Seriously, seriously, I, this fragrance is really based around the note of pomegranate. And like I talked about uh, in some of my other videos, I talk about sexy, sensual fruit notes, pomegranate, passion fruit, plum, peach. I would put those all in the same category. They come off very, very sensual uh, in fragrances, in my humble opinion. And this is really centered around that note of pomegranate. This stuff is just... Uh, hmm. Guys, I think I have a code that might be Darian 10 or something like that. If you ever want to go to Mind Games website and buy anything from Mind Games. If you're not, if you haven't checked out Mind Games, you are doing yourself a disservice. So do yourself a favor and head over there and check out some of these Mind Games fragrances. I would definitely say off top, Jadub, Double Attack, Grandmaster uh, are three that comes to my mind that you guys need to check out. This stuff, you'll see what I'm talking about. Try it. From the brand of Mind Games, again, this is called Jadoop. The next fragrance up on the list is no stranger to uh, to this channel. Probably not much of a stranger to any channel because a lot of people have now talked about and discovered this fragrance, but it's from the brand of Nishane Hashibat. Hashibat. And this has pineapple, patchouli, and oak moss. So, of course, the pineapple, very prominent. But this is really earthy, really you know, kind of green, that patchouli, oak moss combination is really, really makes this a masculine fragrance. Obviously, people have compared this to Creed Aventures in the past, and there's a slight similarity, very slight to my nose. This is its own thing, uh, really, at the end of the day. And I've told stories before about when I wore this before doing uh, COVID, when we were just kind of allowed to get back out. Looks like they're about to put us back in. That's a whole other story. Uh, but... I wore it to, uh, I think it was like a TJ Maxx or something I had on a mask. The girl had on a mask and it had one of the uh, protective shields in front of us at the same, at that time. And she could smell it through the mask and the shield. So that's how much this thing projects. But I've gotten a lot of positive attention and commentary wearing this fragrance. And if you want it, I'm pretty sure you have to. Uh, but if you haven't yet, do yourself a favor and check it out. We're in the brand of Nishane. This is Hachipa. And last but not least, a fragrance that always deserves a quick moment of silence. And scene. This fragrance comes from the brand of By Killian, and this is Straight to Heaven Extreme. Rum, cedar wood, patchouli, and dried fruits are some of the main notes in this masterpiece. 
I won't, I'm not going to talk much about this fragrance because I know it's discontinued and many of you can't get your hands on it, but get the original straight to heaven. It's the same fragrance. It's not as amped up. The rum is not as prominent. The cedar wood is not as prominent. It doesn't last quite as long as this one, but it's the same fragrance. And I've really honestly gotten some very similar reactions to wearing straight to heaven. You just have to apply it more and reapply it. But my gosh, guys, this thing. Check it out, man. Check out. If you can't get this, check out the original Straight to Heaven. You see what I'm talking about. Just freaking phenomenal. But that is it, guys. That is my time. What are some fragrances you have in your attention that have, in your experience, have been able to really stop people in their tracks? Or in other words, it's garnered a lot of attention or people have really stopped you to inquire. What is that that you are wearing? I would love to hear from you guys down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys' attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take out a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell absolutely phenomenal. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.